A box of 2.5 kilograms is being pulled. A box of 2.5 kilograms is being pulled with a force of 25 newtons at an angle of 30 to the diagram. Whoa, Kev. To the horizontal as shown in the diagram. Okay, so as we see, great. The normal force. Ooh, I like this question because a lot of you are going to say that the answer is A. But you're wrong. Let me explain why. Because, okay, if we draw a free body diagram, trust me, if you just got that wrong, it is okay. Put a smile on your face. You're about to learn something right now. And it is a mistake that a lot of learners make. How do you think I knew that a lot of learners are going to choose A? It's because of the way they explain it in school. So check this out. If you just simply draw a free body diagram on this, we've got gravity. Okay? Acts down. We know that. Normal force. Acts up. We know that. Then, now check this out. If this applied force was only horizontal, then you would put a horizontal one and you would just say force applied. Now, in that scenario, can we see that these two will have to be the same? Yes, they would have to be the same. So then you could just say 2.5 times 9.8. But this force is at an angle, so it is not like that. What we know is that this has a vertical and a horizontal. So it's going to have an applied force in the horizontal direction and it's going to have an applied force in the vertical direction. So can we now see that in the, hor I mean in the vertical direction, these two are not going to be the same anymore because we have a third part or one, two and three. This box is not lifting off the ground, it is going along this way. So because it is not lifting off the ground or going into the ground, all three of these have to balance out. So all of the upwards forces would have to be the same as all of the downward forces. So what we can say then is that these two added together would have to be the exact same as all the downwards forces. Now, if you had to go calculate the normal force, you are going to end up with Fg, which is what normally you guys would have stopped there, or some of you, but then we have to say minus the applied force in the vertical direction. Ah, so we need to go work out the applied force in the vertical direction. Very easy to do. You make a triangle, go back to grade 10, use trigonometry. So we have Sokotoa, or maybe you have some other weird one that you use. Like, I don't know, some teachers use some weird ones like old hens, cackle and howl, too old. Oh, why do I know that? Oh, that's cringy. Like, I remember a teacher telling me that once and I thought, oh my God, I'm never going to use that one. And look at me, I just knew it. Yeah, and you also get some really PG-18 ones as well, which I'm definitely not going to mention here. Um, but I've had some students and they're like, listen to this one, Kev, listen to this one. And then I'm shocked at what these people say. I'm like, bro, listen, I know I'm like a relatively young teacher, but wow, okay, we're going to just say everything here okay like i've heard some students say things that nearly made me blush i'm like whoa okay but let's carry on so sokotoa so if we have um let's see where we were so here's the angle now we want to we want to get this into the um we definitely need to get the opposite we don't need to get the adjacent you would if this was like a larger question but to calculate normal force you're just going to be using gravity and the y component so we need this y component if you want i'll rather write this as y and i'll write this as x so we know that um from Sokotoa, uh, we're looking for this one, which is called the opposite or the Y, if you want. And then we have the hypotenuse. So we're going to use sin, okay? So we're going to say sin of the angle is equal to the Y component divided by the hypotenuse, which is 25. To get this alone, you're going to say um, sin 30 multiplied by 25, which would give you 12.5. Kev, how did you do that so fast, bro? Like without even using a calculator. Well, you see, if I'm experienced in doing this every single day of my life, I know that sin 30 is a half. And I know that a half of 25 is 12.5. Wow, Kev. That's so smart, bro. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm talking such nonsense. Okay, so the normal force is then going to be Fg, which is normally what we say uh, 2.5 
multiplied by 9.8. That's what most of you would have wanted to say originally. But then we're going to say minus 12.5 from this over here. And if we had to go work that out, we end up with an answer of 12.